Hello and welcome to this introductory video of the Git Basics course of Race Karate. Race Karate is also a development agency and version control is essential to our work here at Race Karate. Without Git or some other VCS or version control system, my job will be significantly more painful day to day. But why? For understand why VCS is necessary, let's take a look at how will be our life without one. Let's say you are building a web app for a client and you start coding it. After several days, you decide to add a new feature and you send it to the client. Mm, the client didn't like it and asks you to remove it. After some couple of days, the client changes his mind and asks you to add it again. But you already deleted it from the code. You have to code it again or maybe try to find a copy. But that's not ideal, is it? You have already written that. Maybe it was a lot of work. It's a pity to have to redo it all. A solution to this will be create a new copy of the project every time you make changes, or create new features. But how do you know which folder corresponds to which feature? And also imagine all the copies you will be creating every time you create a new version of your project. If it is a brick project, you will consume a lot of disk space. That will be messy. Now, let's say your client is satisfied with the final product, then he decides to hire another developer to work along with you. How will you work together? Let's say that you explain to your colleague your copying strategy and make sure he follows your rules. Then let's say you and your colleague have new tasks and you guys are both working along at the same time. Uh oh. What happens when you both finish? You have probably worked on some of the same files. So how do you merge those changes together into one version you can show to the client? I guess you'd have to compare them side by side and then decide what to keep or what to change. But what if you work with two more people or five or twenty? That would be a lot of hard work trying to maintain all the changes synchronized. That's why we need a BCS. It helps you to keep track of all the changes in your project. But how does it work? The folder with all the copies of your project in version control terminology is called a repository. It's a collection of all the versions of this particular project along with some special information. What are the changes occurred in, a description of each change, and even some other info, like who was responsible of each change. Each project should have its own repository. A VCS does not automatically keep track of the version of your project. You have to explicitly tell them when a version is finished. The act of telling your VCS that a version is finished is called committing. Then you commit changes into your repository. Because of this, versions are often referred as commits. It seems too complicated to keep track of all these, but a VCS saves all that information in special folders that are often flagged as hidden. But if all the version control information of your project is hidden, how do you interact with it? We do it through your system console or terminal. A VCS allows you to view and filter the full list of commits or even switch what version your project folder is currently displaying. Want to take a look at what your project looked like this time last week, last month, last year? It provides a way for you to share your repository with others so that you can collaborate on projects and keep track of each other's changes. Your VCS will let you do all these things and more often with just one command. There are tons of VCS out there, but which one should we use? Well, for the title of this course, you probably know that we are going to recommend using the Git version control system. But why? The way Git is architected makes it a good choice as well. Usually stored on a server somewhere. If you want to work on that project, you do it over a network connection to that central repository. It has few disadvantages. It makes hard to do any work on your project without a network connection. If something happens to that central repository, you may lose some or even all your project history. 
and also makes collaboration more restricted and complicated. Distributed control version systems like Git are different in that there is no central repository. Everyone who works on the project has their own repository. Your contributions to the project do not require network connection. Everything is going to be really fast and collaboration is easy. Just get your own copy of that repository and get started. Well, we can't end this video without talking about GitHub. It's really the most popular site for sharing your code and managing software projects. In fact, we use GitHub pretty extensively at RaceCadat. It's like a social network of repositories. You can share your projects online, publicly or private with your friends and collaborators. Other people can even submit their own commits and help you make your project better. Learning Git will help you tap into this huge community of developers and software projects. Even outside of GitHub, Git is still very popular in the software development world, which is a reason to learn in and of itself. Learn Git is mandatory to become a first-class Rails developer. We recommend you to take a look to the Ruby Basics course, CoffeeScript Foundations, jQuery Basics, and Ajax Foundations. If you want to know more about the courses and material we have for you and for free, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go to raceconnected.com and do not forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. See you in the next lesson. Bye bye.